So as we all know, eating fish can be very healthy and if it's properly cooked, super delicious. The problem is it can be tricky to cook fish at home so many people head out to restaurants to eat fish which can get super expensive. Today I'm going to show you how to perfectly cook cod three different ways at home. Now with the techniques we're using here, you can use whatever white fish you want besides the cod, like halibut, sea bass, or tilapia, folks. No fancy equipment, no special skills, and after watching this video, you're gonna become a master at cooking cod. So to prepare these three cod dishes, I'm gonna be using some cod fillets. They're 390 grams each, which is about 14 ounces each. And I bought the cod frozen and thawed it out for two reasons. One, it makes it so much cheaper. And for the second thing, I know it makes it so much easier for most folks to find frozen cod versus fresh cod in their area. However, if you can easily find fresh cod in your area, you can totally use it to prepare these dishes. Now the secret here is to make sure you pat your cod fillet completely dry with paper towels. Whether you're using frozen that you thawed out or fresh, this is what removes any of that excess water inside of the fish. That way it's got a beautiful texture when you cook it and it also allows for all the flavors you're using to incorporate into the fish. All right, for our first dish, we are making pan-fried cod. This is possibly the most popular way of eating cod around the world. It's got a beautiful crusty exterior in the inside. The cod is smelts in your mouth. This is very easy to make. And it's got so many great flavors and textures. I'm gonna begin by grabbing one of our cod fillets again. This one's been completely patted down with paper towels. I'm gonna cut it into two fillets and season each one with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper on both sides. So important to season your fish correctly, that way it's full of flavor. For the next step, I'm gonna add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl, along with half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a generous quarter teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and mix the dry ingredients together until they're well combined. Then start coating the cod fillets one at a time in the flour mixture. Make sure the fillet is evenly coated all around. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grab a large frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in a generous half cup of sunflower oil. You can use whatever neutral vegetable oil you like. And at the same time, make sure to get a timer going. This is the key to always cooking fish perfectly. You always wanna have a timer, that way you don't overcook your fish. After heating the sunflower oil for exactly four minutes and it's nice and hot, I'm gonna add the cod fillets into the pan. Now the thickness of these fillets are a little over half an inch each, so I'm gonna go three minutes per side for perfection. If your fillets are a little bit thinner, say exactly half an inch, go two and a half minutes. If they're even thinner than that, go about two minutes per side. After a total cooking time of six minutes, again, that's three minutes per side, I'm gonna remove the cod fillets from the pan and transfer them into a dish with some paper towels. And check it out, our first way of preparing cod is done. Look how beautiful this pan-fried cod came out. Again, you've got that incredible crispy texture outside and the inside is kind of melts in your mouth. You saw this, so easy to make, no special techniques and it comes together within minutes. Moving on to our second way of preparing cod, we are making pan seared cod. This is typically how they serve cod at restaurants. Now don't let that intimidate you, the word restaurant or searing. It's such a simple technique and it gives the cod an incredible texture and flavor. I'm gonna begin by grabbing one of our cod fillets again. Make sure it's completely patted down with paper towels. I'm gonna cut it into two fillets and season each fillet with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper on both sides. As you will notice on these fillets, the skin is on them. When you're searing fish, you wanna make sure the skin's on there. That way the fish holds together when you're cooking it. However, if you can't find fish with skin on it, no big deal. Just be very gentle with the fish when you're turning it in the pan. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in two tablespoons of virgin olive oil. And once again, make sure to get your timer going to get that fish perfectly cooked. It's all about timing. After heating the olive oil for exactly three minutes on a medium high heat, I'm gonna add in the cod fillets into the pan, skin side up. And 
and using a spatula, gently push down on each fillet for about 15 seconds each. This is what helps develop that beautiful crusty sear. After two and a half minutes, I'm gonna flip the cod fillets to cook the other side. Now the thickness of these fillets are half an inch, so two and a half minutes is the ideal time. If your fillets are a little bit thicker, go three minutes per side. If they're a little bit thinner, go two minutes per side. After a total cooking time of five minutes, that's two and a half minutes per side, I'm gonna remove the cod fillets from the pan and transfer them into a dish. And there it is, our second way of preparing cod. Look how delicious this pan-seared cod came out. Again, this is how they typically serve it at restaurants. It's got so many great flavors and textures, but you saw it very easy to make, and it came together within minutes. For our third and final way of preparing cod, we are making pan-grilled cod. This is typically how they cook fish here in Spain. Pan-grilled translates to a la plancha, which basically means no fat in the pan, so you get the natural flavors of the cod. Absolutely delicious, and again, very easy to make. I'm gonna begin by grabbing one of our cod fillets. Again, make sure it's completely patted down with paper towels. Cut it into two fillets. And once again, season the cod fillets with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper on both sides. I'm gonna drizzle each fillet with a kiss of extra virgin olive oil. And rub it all over the cod fillet. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large frying pan and heat it with a medium high heat. Once again, we are cooking this dish a la plancha, which is no fat in the pan, but still make sure to get that timer going. That is the secret to always getting perfectly cooked fish. After heating the pan for exactly three minutes on a medium high heat, I'm gonna add in the cod fillets into the pan, skin side up. Once again, I've got the skin on these fillets. That way you don't fall apart in the pan. If you can't find them with the skin on, no big deal. Just be very gentle when you flip the fillets around. After two and a half minutes, I'm gonna gently flip the cod fillets to cook the other side. Once again, these are exactly half an inch thick, so two and a half minutes per side is the ideal time. Like I told you earlier, if yours are a little bit thicker, go three minutes per side. If they're a little bit thinner than half an inch, go two minutes per side. After a total cooking time of five minutes, once again, that's two and a half minutes per side, I'm gonna remove the cod fillets from the pan and transfer them into a dish. And check it out, folks. Our final dish preparing cod is done. Look how incredible this pan grilled cod came out again. What we call here in Spain, a la plancha. This is what brings out those beautiful natural flavors in the dish. Now, as you can see, the secret to all three of these was all about the timing and knowing the thickness of the fillets. That's the secret here to getting perfection in fish. And that's it. All three of our fish dishes are done. You saw all of them so easy to make, full of flavor, but the best part, each one was perfectly cooked. Use these recipes and techniques at home to eat the most delicious cod of your life at home, and you don't have to go to a restaurant. Really quick before I go, a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Terry K. Clean. Again, Terry, thank you so much for all your support. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. Help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and do not subscribe. Slash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.